Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any V having a Ford C Max, Ford Fusion, Lincoln Hybrid guys. What's common between those, the engine that they use and the transmission is the same in all these three vehicles guys for the hybrid vehicles. And if you're trying to find where the TDC top dead center is located, stay with us. Uh, we'll explain where the pin goes. You have a special pin, you remove a bolt and you install a pin, turn the engine until it stops at that pin guys. That's practically top dead center. We'll talk about that in a second. And one common mistake people make that can actually guys give you quite a bit of headache. So make sure to stay till the end. We'll explain what we're talking about. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least 2 to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos. Another thing, if you want to save quite a bit of money on car parts, tools, uh, anything for your car guys, check out the link in the description of the video below, that's where we get all our tools and supplies from. So, let's go ahead and start on it now. So, let us show you now here what we have specifically. This is uh, the hybrid engine that we have guys on uh, Ford C-Max, but as I said, the same engine can be found in Ford Fusion and Lincoln MKZ. This is it right here. So, uh, if we look right here guys, okay, you know, we have serpentine belt. Okay, no belt, nothing like that you can see because it's a hybrid engine. But now, if I come underneath the vehicle, okay, let me go ahead. Okay, come underneath. This is the engine guys, engine, transmission, oil filters, water pumps, you can see this is the passenger wheel. And if you come where the crankshaft pulley is located, that's where you usually guys have the serpentine belt. You can see your crankshaft position sensor is right here. And if you look, that's the passenger side CV axle. If you look at that CV axle now guys, right here on top, that's your top dead center pin guys. Okay, right there. That's where it's located. All you will need to do, practically unscrew that bolt right there. And later, you will need to, okay, go ahead guys, okay, and install the pin. Turn the engine, okay, uh, clockwise until it stops. Uh, that should be top dead center. I will always remove the piston, uh, the spark plug on cylinder number one. So that way I can verify to make sure that the piston cylinder number one is all the way on top. Another common mistake people make that the crankshaft, uh, crankshaft position sensor will need to be removed for multiple repairs when you set the top dead center. And that crankshaft position sensor is adjustable, it goes up and down. And if that sensor is not installed correctly guys, you don't use the special crankshaft to what will happen, your car may not start. It may start and act really funny, it may be backfiring or sounding like the timing is off. So make sure that you set the timing for the crankshaft position sensor correctly. We have a special video that explains the crankshaft position sensor to on a Ford vehicle guys. So hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you needing help with that. If you have any questions, let us know. Thank you for watching and see you next time.